There is a difference between working. There is a difference between working and. There is a difference between working and static. What's up everybody? I've got another piece off this 1972 Triumph that we're restoring here. I don't exactly know what this piece is. It all came in a box. It's from a customer, so we're just going to polish this stuff up and make it look great for them. So again, today we're going to be using our VH1000HD with glass bead because glass bead is the perfect choice for these aluminum parts to make them look great because as it actually flows across the surface, it's going to roll that aluminum and give it that nice polished look. And also it's gonna prevent against further corrosion. You can kind of see if you look close on this part where it's just picked up dirt over its time in service. So uh, without further ado, we're gonna clean this thing up, make it look great and show you guys exactly how we do it. All right. I think for starters, we're gonna start at about 80 because we can always go up if I see that that's not working because glass bead of course is not going to take off the same amount of corrosion is something like an aluminum oxide was wood and then as we're actually starting to finish up i'm going to incrementally bring it down because the lower the pressure the the better that characteristic of the abrasive actually works so if you're blasting at 10 psi you're actually going to get a brighter finish than you would if you're blasting at 100. and actually i'm just going to explain real quick there is a difference between working and static pressure so static pressure is when nothing is happening with the machine and the gauge is at a standstill um, and as you can see right now we're at about Looks like we're at about 90 on our gauge. And as soon as you step on the foot pedal, that's actually your working pressure. That's when the air is actually flowing through the machine. And that's the pressure that you guys need to be monitoring whenever you're blasting, because that's the pressure at which the blast gun is operating. Typically, your static pressure is going to be more than your working pressure, and you can expect about a 10 PSI drop whenever you step on it. Talk about results, dude. That is that vapor finish we've been going for, guys. That is awesome. So just to reiterate what we did, um, we started off at 80 PSI, I bumped it up to 100 for a little bit, and then I went down to 10 PSI and then down the pump pressure just to get that burnishing effect that we've talked about before. Um, and it just turns out excellent. I mean, you cannot beat these results. If you guys do any kind of restoration, you understand how important your perceived value is. And this right here is a quick and easy way to exponentially increase that value that people associate with your parts. I mean, this took us, what do you think, Andrew? What, five minutes? Five minutes. And, and the crazy part is, is if we were to like, if you were to, if you were to make certain that you didn't have any media in this, in this bearing, this part is, is ready to go back on whatever it came off of. And, and that can go the same way for any parts that you guys are blasting. So pull them off. In five minutes, you can have an excellent looking part that's ready to go back on your, your product. And you can actually, as you saw, you can do this with the grease and grime on it. I mean, this piece still had gasket material on it. And we actually do not claim to take off gasket material with our machines, but this 60 year old gasket did not stand a chance, even with glass feed. I mean, it took it off without any issue. Also check out the other great content that we have on our YouTube channel. We post a lot of educational stuff as well as more specific things on the machines. But again, if you guys are ready to start getting results just like this, call us at 828-202-5563. We hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching and peace.